Just up the hill from our spring walk is our orchid garden. Now orchids are the second largest family of flowering plants. So after the daisies, we think there are more orchid species than any other species of flowering plant. So this is Dendrobium speciosum, sometimes known as the Sydney rock orchid, but it has a much larger distribution. So it grows right from Victoria, right into far northern Queensland. At the moment it's got these beautiful arching spikes covered in small yellow or white flowers with distinctive purple dots on the labellum which is the central modified petal you find on, on orchids. Now it's a really variable species so you see lots of different forms, lots of different flower colours. Here we can see them growing as lithophytes. So that means they're growing attached to a rock and that's how you often find them growing in the wild. But there are some forms that will grow high up in trees. So they grow as an epiphyte, they grow attached to the tree, once more getting access to that beautiful sunlight which allows them to produce their magnificent flowers. The flowers are often visited and pollinated by our native stingless bees. So Tetragonula carbonaria, you'll often see them around the flowers of these lovely Sydney rock orchids. So check them out here at the Royal Botanic Garden Sydney, both here just up from our spring walk, but you'll see many other examples throughout the garden flowering through September.